Oh man, what the hell? Ah, oh, crap. You gotta go, my friend. What's up, riders? Welcome to the first mod of 2021. So what are we doing today? How about the Power Bronze rear mudguard? I've been wanting to do a rear mudguard for quite some time, but I just haven't found one that I liked. I pretty much had three choices. It was either the Power Bronze, the Puig, or some crappy aluminum one off of AliExpress. So at first, I was really interested in the Puig. Problem is, the reviews on the Puig are horrific. The other thing is, the Puig is really expensive. So why would I buy a rear mudguard that gets crappy reviews, but also costs the most? Then I looked at the aluminum AliExpress models. While the aluminum's really durable, I really didn't like the look of them. They're really boxy. There's even some reviews that you have to bend them a little bit to get everything to fit. And lastly, I didn't want to wait four weeks to get it from China. So pretty much the only thing left was this Power Bronze rear mudguard. Now this thing isn't the cheapest one on the block, but it's also not the most expensive. I really like the looks of this one. It also happens to be one of the largest. The other thing I really like about it aesthetically is all the aluminum grill that it has in the vents. That kind of matches up really well with what our XSR has. And at around $140 shipped, I was happy with it. From an initial quality inspection, this thing seems just about as durable as the stock one. Obviously not as durable as the aluminum. I'm okay with that. So this seems like a relatively quick install. So let's go ahead and get to it. So we're gonna be switching over to the head cam for this disassembly. But the first thing we gotta do is take off the factory mud guard. Once you get the last screw out, the only thing there is to do is pop out the little retainer clip that's holding the last part of this in. I find a flathead screwdriver works best. And that's it. So once you get this stock mud guard off, the next thing we're gonna need to do is take off this little bracket that holds the brake line and anti-lock brake cables in place. This basically keeps them from interfering with the tire and everything. I've already taken the liberty of loosening it, so you're just gonna take it out and slide it back. The Power Bronze comes with this little bracket. You can see this little bracket has a couple of holes in it. This bracket strategically lines up with the holes that are already in your XSR. Place the bracket that the Power Bronze tire hugger comes with, and then put this bracket on top, screw it back together. So now that you got disassembly in and you put that bracket on, you're gonna to wanna to put the grommets and the metal spacers into your Power Bronze tire hugger. So the grommets just simply pop right in all of the holes and then you'll see there are these metal spacers that you gotta go ahead and put in. Once you get all those in, two on one side, one on the other, we're ready to put this thing on. So I'm gonna be starting from the right side of the bike. I'm gonna go ahead and lay the hugger on right now. Then we're gonna to wanna to attach this first bracket on the right side. For that, you're gonna need this nut and this lock washer that come with the Power Bronze. Basically what we're doing is we're gonna put this nut through the hole and into that bracket, and then we've gotta put this lock washer and this nut on the other side. I'll tell you one thing, that is not an easy job to do. So let's go over on the other side before we tighten this up. The other side is gonna be much more straightforward. All you really need to do is just put these two bolts in. They're gonna use the factory threading that comes on the rear mounts. And that's it, we're done. Let's go back over and tighten that bolt. So we got the hugger on. It's pretty solid. I mean, the thing is flexible, but then again, so is the stock one. Tire clearance is ample. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with this rubbing or coming loose. It's pretty much on there. So the only thing we really need to do now is drag it outside and see how it looks in the sunlight. So I think it looks pretty good. I'm definitely looking forward to having it protect more of the splash and keeping it from getting underneath the seat. But it also looks really good with that K-Tech shock. So that was a pretty easy mod. 
And I have to say, that's a really good practical mod. While I was looking for something that looked good as well as functioned good, my primary goal was functionality. I just really want to keep all the grime out from underneath the rear fender in the seat. So, what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments. I've seen prices going anywhere from $129 all the way up to $139 US. Depends on really where you get it. You're going to have to look around. I'm going on a ride in a couple of days. Might hit a few puddles because it has been raining here. I'll let you guys know how it holds up. That's about all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful in your mod journey. Let me know what you think. If you like this channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. We got a lot more videos coming, whole bunch of stuff, mods, gear, you name it. Until next time, ride safe. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.